in this tutorial we will see how to use trim tool surface trim tool so I, I have already created three objects one this surface is there vertical rectangular surface is there and one circle is there so these three objects are there so I want to trim using these objects so for trim go to insert surface trim then there is first is standard method so in standard method you can define trimming surface plane or sketch you can use any of them suppose I use trimming surface so I want to trim using this rectangular surface then you have to define pieces to keep what you want to keep after trimming so I want to keep this outside surface and just say accept so it has trim that internal surface so you can hide this surface to see the trim area just say hide so in this way this surface has been trimmed using that rectangular surface so this is one one method then in other method let's undo this undo now again take the trim insert surface trim suppose I take uh, take uh, trimming surface then I take this circle as a sketch as a trimming sketch so from here I will take this sketch 3 as a cutting area then area to keep by clicking I can define what I want to keep I can either take internal I can either keep inside or outside suppose I take it inside ok so multiple things you can keep or I will keep only internal so I will delete the outside and just say accept so the internal surface has been kept and outside surface has been removed so this is the one method you can use the sketch also for trimming then you can also use the plane again we will take the insert surface trim then we will uh, choose this top plane as a cutting area top plane then from ok sketch 3 has been selected I want the top plane clear selection top plane ok then you can define what you want to keep suppose I want to keep this and keep these two curves only and this last one and this bottom one and just say accept so top plane is going horizontal so just accept so in this way we have trim using a plane so you can trim using a surface you can trim using a plane you can trim using a sketch then one more option is there in the trim so let's see that let's see that what is that so for that insert for that one thing we will do we will convert this circle also in surface so just select this circle and just go to insert surface extrude so I want to extrude on both the direction by 50 50 25 25 accept so I just want to give some color to this surface so just select the surface give the color just select this surface ok accept just I, uh, just view it isometric ok now I want to trim using all of those surface then go to insert surface trim then inside trim there is mutual option is there mutual so you can select multiple surfaces suppose I select this green one blue one and yellow one so all the three has been selected then you can define which surfaces to keep or you can also define which surfaces to remove by clicking on remove selection you can click on the surfaces to remove or by clicking on keep, uh, keep selections you can click on surfaces to keep so I want to keep this surface then I want to keep this bottom surface of this and bottom surface of this cylindrical surface so all this surface I want to keep and all remaining I want to remove so in this way it has removed all the remaining surfaces and it, it has kept the remaining surface. so in this way you can use the trim tool in SOLIDWORKS 
surface modeling.